Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another install tutorial as well as notice. Now I'll get to the notice part as quick as I can and then focus on obviously the install tutorial part. So, two things, Curse Legacy API and Station API. Station API is most of the mods who come across on modifications from Modification Station uh, and is on the GlassReaper.net site. Uh, so if you've seen my MultiMC related one, which I'll just show here, if you've seen this one and any of the five mods included in there, uh, that's all Station API related stuff. Uh, you can use, I assume, Cursed Legacy API, that file and certain mods that'll, uh, sorry, mods that'll fall under that, which there is none at the moment, but I will showcase a mod in this installation tutorial to show it works. Um, but yeah, uh, the MultiMC instance tutorial should work for this related mods, uh, and obviously it does here, but Station API mods do not work with the Mojang launcher installation thing that I'm going to be showing in this video. Um, only this does, and there is a mod that I'm going to show that doesn't require any of the two of these, that just needs cursed um, fabric loader. So yeah, hopefully that clears up things. It is obviously a bit confusing. It's like, why is there two APIs here, but for like, and separate mods entirely, just like obviously the sort of forge fabric side of things. Um, but with, you know, APIs here that are still for cursed fabric. Um, it's a bit confusing, but uh, just thought I'd clear that up, that some mods support Station API and some support Cursed Legacy. Uh, Station API is mostly made by those, again, with the modification station side of things, whilst Cursed Legacy is more so made by um, some well-known fabric devs. So if you've seen their mods, you definitely know um, what they've made. Um, I'll just show you here. So if you know any of the contributors here, you know um, them commonly, so many of the fabric developers in the community. Um, so yeah, whilst this is more the modification station side and a few creators on that side. I'm pretty sure, or just other fabric devs that just happen to post their stuff to here. But uh, yeah, so get into the installer. Um, you want to obviously just select the downloads here. I've obviously got a link to it from the uh, uh, FTB wiki page that I've made, and I just added the info boxes as well as the step-by-step uh, -step tutorial part here if anyone wants to look to that besides what this video has and you want some typed up. Uh, and otherwise I've got some of the links here for other things there. So, yeah. So you just get the uh, download jar here. So that's the installer, which I already have on me. And we'll go to here. And we can see the legacy installer right here. And from there, we'll come up with the typical fabric installer window that displays the same thing, whether it's regular fabric, cursed fabric, legacy fabric. It's all the same, it's just obviously what versions are available. So we only have beta 173 here, but there is a ton of uh, builds here. I've only tested this first one and this last one. There's obviously a ton in between that I assume do or don't work. Um, the first one that I tested crashed, um, so whether I put the cursed legacy API or anything else, or nothing in there, it just crashed. Um, and I assume some of these have mixed results as well. I'd say just go with the bottom one, which I think is the one that displays by default anyways, and then just click install, and then have it create a profile, of course, since it's the first time. If it's not the first time, then just leave it. Uh, otherwise, uh, from there, you obviously want to bring up your launcher, uh, and we have, obviously, the ability to look at whichever one's installed, as we can see here. Uh, that's the one it keeps defaulting to, but that's not the one I want. Uh, let's see, so that's the first one, obviously the crashes, and I'll just show that just to prove it. And there's nothing in here as far as I remember, there's just those, so I'll just actually get rid of those real quick. Oh, can you, oh, can you not, oh, that was my test, whoops, that was my test, that's why it's doing that. Whoops, that was my bad. Uh, so we'll test this one, and we can see it'll crash immediately, when I've got a log on the side to show it, and it's obviously crashed, as we can tell there. If we uh, switch to the latest one, and the one I recommend, which is the 6-something or other, I've already put an info box, but I've forgotten what it is already. So this one here, the 671A1BB Beta 173. So that's the one you want, and that's probably the one you'll get. Um, if you've just chosen that, you won't have the others there appearing, like I have for individually installing them. So this will just set up a cursed, legacy, uh, sorry, a cursed fabric um, instance. 
and it'll just be beta 173 and that's it. So there's no mods, there's no nothing else showing up. And if we want to, with actually testing while mods I wanted to put in here, we can go straight to these, which are a good test. So Curse Legacy API will obviously be the one you'll probably be using in this instance because the station API ones don't work in this instance that I've tested. Uh, and Quit button just requires a Curse Fabric Loader. So it doesn't require this API or the station API at all. It just requires Curse Fabric Loader, which you can see obviously um, here is obviously your typical. So whatever you've installed for the Curse Fabric profile is Curse Fabric Loader, just like you would typically get with Legacy Fabric and regular Fabric. You're all just going to have a loader profile sort of data thing put in there. So because I know this works because it just needs the loader, we should be fine. And Curse Legacy is what you'll probably be just using for whatever other future mods support that API, of course. Um, obviously nothing does at the moment, because it is still just a thing being worked on, but uh, either way, it's it's a thing. Uh, it's obviously in release status because it's 1.01 1 .01, uh, compared to what it was before. With all the versions or so. I don't know, maybe it's more ready, maybe not, I don't know. And you can tell that it works because we've got quit button here. So we can just select that and that's fine. If we remove this, which I don't think I really need it anymore, it should be fine. We can click this again, and we should come up with the game now showing no quit button. So this is pretty much the best mod to test, because it just needs the loader, it doesn't need any of the APIs whatsoever. And it should display now no quit button. As you can see there, there's no quit button for us to select, so we have to just select the one in the top here. So that's a good test, and that's probably what you can do for now. Uh, again, there's not really much else to it currently. The Station API mods don't work in that environment, so I would say still go with the multi MC one for now. Uh, but it, I will show more mods that are for Curse Legacy Fabric or Curse Legacy API when they are available. But there's currently only Station API ones at the moment, and I'm gonna cover a fair amount of those or already have as of the making of this video. A fair amount of them already. So yeah, just for the sake of clarity, these are not compatible. These have certain mods like these ones here on Glass Repo, and I've obviously got a showcase of five of them here, um, and the Curse Legacy API is a completely separate one, and as far as I know, this can work inside this and this, but this can only work in the Multi-MC one, not in the Mojang Loader one yet, currently, anyways. So, yeah. A bit confusing, hopefully that clears things up. Um, I'd say Curse Legacy API is only kind of a thing for using an example mod for modders at the moment. Um, so if there's anyone who wants to make mods for them, then there's that. I don't know if you can make them. I don't know if they've made it open for the Station API ones yet, but there is obviously documentation for this one uh, here. Or it's just for Curse Legacy in general, uh, Curse Fabric in general, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a developer. I don't know this stuff. But yeah, if you want a step-by-step -step guide, there's that. If you want to know the latest versions of these, there's that. And uh, the download links will be in the description, of course. And whatever other Curse Legacy, uh, Curse Fabric stuff I can put in uh, this forum. So yeah, hopefully that clears things up. And that's how you install for Curse Legacy side stuff, at least. And Quit Button is a good test mod. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.